Hey Longhorns, I'm Cameron. And I'm Emily. Welcome to the 18th edition of the Longhorn Weekly News. Here's what we have going on around campus this week. Our culinary arts department gains real-world experience through hands-on activities. We caught up with them in the kitchen to learn about their program. Last month, five culinary students competed in the Skills USA competition. Junior Kimmy Lawal placed third in the commercial baking competition, and senior Ann Pham placed second in the commercial baking competition, qualifying for the state competition this spring. We're making sandwiches for a picnic-themed wedding reception. That's a, a friend of a friend from Ms. Wamsu. I've been taking culinary since freshman year, and I'm a junior now. Okay. We do a lot of packaging. You know, we make the food, and then we package them and cater to certain <laughs> programs, like for the sports events. I enjoy that in the kitchen, we can have fun and sort of act like a little mini restaurant or a community of our own. And I do get to learn a lot from Ms. Wamsu. DECA has had a very eventful year filled with lots of success, including their outstanding performances at State. Here's a look at what these talented students have been up to. The GRHS DECA program has been very busy this season as they competed in a large variety of competitions. Most recently, the DECA chapter traveled to Dallas to compete in their state competitions. The students did well and six are advancing to the international competition in Orlando, Florida in April. This year's winners were Hamza Rahman in Food Marketing Series, Jesse Garcia and Jose De La Fuente in Business Law and Ethics Team Decision Making, Matthew Eckelberger and Kyle Evanson in Sports and Entertainment Team Decision Making, and Zachary Johnson in Entrepreneurship Innovation Plan. The DECA program also received recognition for competing in their community service. DECA also received recognition for completing their community service, promotional, and global entrepreneurship campaigns. Congrats to everyone competing in this year's events. For the first time in George Ranch and LCISD history, we have a documentary film that has reached the state finals of the UIL Young Filmmakers Festival. Congratulations to our fellow broadcast member, Cameron Joyner. She produced the story of Always Believe, a short film about math teacher, Mr. Jerry Tubes. My film will be screened alongside other UIL state finalists tonight, March 5th, at the historic Paramount Theater in Austin. Here's a sneak peek at the film. In 2012, my wife told me, why don't you take that red belief sign that the student gave you for Christmas last year, take it down to the field, it'll fit into your backpack and uh, get pictures with the kids. That really changed who I am as a teacher. That was the beginning of the belief selfies. And he has a little sparkly belief sign that he goes up to the students with and everybody's always so excited and like privileged to take a photo with him and his sign. Last year, one of the kids tweeted my goal this year is to get a belief selfie with Mr. Toops. That was, that's pretty neat that it's become that, this entrenched at the school, and this is my sixth year here. And that famous red sign has been in thousands of belief selfies. And the power of that as a teacher, when you go out of your classroom and you become part of your kid's life in a picture like that, the relationship goes beyond anything that you could develop in the classroom. He started out just being my algebra and geometry teacher, but ended up like just giving me so much energy and positivity about school spirit and um, just like to enjoy every day that you have and everything. The full video can be viewed at www.youtube.com slash news. This has been the Longhorn Weekly News. Have a great day, Longhorns. See you next week.